Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another energy love reading. And this is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. And this is going to be the energy or the feelings of your person. And this could be a platonic person, like a friendship or family member, or it could be a romantic relationship with a partner, lover, or spouse whomever it applies to in your life that you're watching the reading for. I also consider this timeless, so whenever you watch the reading is when you're meant to receive the message. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. We have the Page of Rods. We have the Knight of Rods. And we have the Judgment card. Wow, very interesting here, Virgo. So we have the Page of Rods. And as we all know, the well, in this deck, the rods are actually the wands. Okay, and with pages, we know that the pages bring messages. So it's possible that you're going to be receiving some type of message from this person. Okay, this could be something, you know, related to their work. Okay, and this could come in through the form of a letter or phone call, text or email. Okay, but whatever it is, is it's some type of, of good news coming in. Uh, maybe this person that you were dealing with was waiting on some type of a job uh, to come through for them. Maybe they've been out of work, struggling financially, because I know a lot of people have lost their jobs during the self-quarantine um, it could be someone, uh, you know, that you're dealing with that's finally getting a promotion, okay, and they want to share this information, you know, with you, or maybe it's a message that they want to work on your relationship. Could possibly be that too, because I think of this as a work message, so it doesn't necessarily have to mean their actual job or employment. It may mean that they want to work on things. And that you can receive a message regarding that. And then we have the Knight of Rods. So this would be the Knight of Wands. So this is the energy that is surrounding this person at this time. And this person, you know, may be changing residence. Okay. Uh, they may be going on a journey. Maybe they're experiencing their own, you know, spiritual journey right now. So it doesn't have to be a physical one where you're physically packing up your bags and moving to a new location. This could be a spiritual journey that this person has, you know, just recently awakened. And they're, you know, going through their dark night of the soul. And there's changes being made in their life. Okay, but, you know, this could be, like I said, your person may be moving to another location. Maybe they're moving somewhere that's going to be better for them. Um, and this is the kind of knight that, you know, goes after what he wants. So it's possible that, you know, maybe this knight is, you know, wanting to move towards you, wanting to move towards you to, you know, work on this relationship. It could very well mean that as well, that they want to communicate that message, that they want to put the work in. And that they want to put that into motion because, like I said, the knights represent action, okay? That they don't want to sit around anymore, that they want to put plans into motion. And then we have the judgment card at the end. And the judgment card is a very interesting card because normally with the judgment card, we see people, you know, uh, coming up from the ashes down here. And in this card, it's just basically this angel above and the angel is you know sounding her horn so whatever's going on here you know with the judgment it seems that there's some type of a new beginning wanting to come through and you know I'm, I'm really feeling that this person does want another chance they want to show you maybe that they've changed that they've they've gone through this like I said this dark night of the soul that they're you know emerging from these ashes and you know, they say people don't change. Some people can. I think it's a small percentage because I truly believe that people are creatures of habit and your personality is your personality. Um, if someone truly wants to change and they're willing to put in the hard work and they realize that, you know, what their bad behaviors have caused them and they want to change, then yes, I would say those are the kind of people that would. But most people, 
just take the easy way out and they just continue the bad patterns and the bad habits until something happens where they hit rock bottom. But this here is telling me that, you know, they want to renew the relationship with you. They want to revive it. Okay, but depending upon how much this person has put you through, you know, they could want what they want. But if you know it's a dysfunctional relationship and that they have not changed and nothing has changed, how do they say an apology is only sincere if it's accompanied by changed behavior? You really would have to take it slow and really see if this person has changed before you decide to jump back into a situation. Um, you would hope that this card at the end means a rebirth and a new beginning to revive the relationship, but you really need to take it on a case-by-case -case basis and see if this person truly has changed. Um, otherwise, you're just going to repeat the same toxic cycle over and over. Very interesting reading for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.